Now we continue our focus on Japan's move to the right. The country's ruling Liberal Democratic Party has achieved election victories in the lower and upper houses running on a platform of constitutional change that would allow the self-defense force to act more as a conventional army. But how much do ordinary Japanese people care about constitutional change? Correspondent Tony Chang has the details from Tokyo. The ghosts of Japan's past have haunted generations since the end of the Second World War. The issue of constitutional reform and restoring the military have left many ordinary people questioning whether they should be held accountable for the mistakes of the past. But Hiro is definitely not a rabid nationalist. He runs a small business selling surfing gear just outside Tokyo. Well-traveled, he understands the concerns that other countries have about the revival of Japan's military. But he also thinks changing the constitution will help to cement national identity. Young people today have neither pride nor any strong emotions towards Japan. But we should have pride and feelings for the nation and let people overseas see it. But Hiro is also concerned many ordinary people don't see the bigger picture, that their understanding of Japan's place in the world and its history is too narrow. Maybe it's education. Many of my friends only really learned about Japan when they went overseas. It's a commonly heard concern that many people in Japan are politically apathetic. And with economic concerns a priority, voters have paid little attention to the constitutional changes proposed by the government. Many ordinary Japanese people believe the constitution can only be changed if the government has a two-thirds majority in both the lower and the upper house. But some constitutional scholars say those changes are already taking place. According to Yoshinora Nambo, changes to allow a functioning military are already underway. He says by changing the interpretation of the current constitution, the cabinet's already able to change the role of the defense force. <laughs> now they are trying to change the interpretation of the constitution for the first time in history by giving orders to the cabinet registration bureau from the prime minister. That could mean the process of changing the constitution is deemed unnecessary and the checks and balances that require the approval of the Japanese electorate could be bypassed. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Tokyo.